Shalom, I'm mocking your brother Kanan back at you with the truth. Started by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. Double honors and respect go to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well and teach well and lead in Israel by great example to this day. Peace and citation go to your elect, teaching and preaching this truth and this righteousness, purity and sincerity, and waiting on Yahweh Shai for salvation. Shalom, I'm mocking him. All right. Man, tired of this lesson, understanding what the will of the Lord is. Um. All right. Let's let's um start with the book of Ephesians, Ephesians chapter five, starting of verse fourteen, going on down. Wherefore he said, "Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead. Hamashiach shall, shall give thee light. Give the Lord shall give us knowledge. Okay, knowledge this truth. All right, come from our dead state. Okay, when we was in the world, and the Lord." Uh, made us rise up from our dead state and give us this knowledge and this truth to be able to be aware of what he's about to do and he and, uh, and when he's uh about to return right he's basically giving us that 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 knowing of he's about to show up again okay so now um, see then that ye walk circumspectly not as fools but as wise so we can look up the word um you can look up the word uh, fools. No, you want to look up fool. All right, meaning. All right. All right, a fool. A person who acts unwisely or imprudently. A silly person. Idiot. Half wit. All right, didn't the Lord say, um, for my people are foolish. They have not known me. They are sodish children, and sodish goes into stupid. All right, Acts. It says, um, "Nino a nincompoop." So a nincompoop. So Israel is a nincompoop. Uh, the well, this, uh, the two thirds of, of Israel is nin, uh, nincompoops. Uh, deceive. Fool is deceive. Cause to believe something that is not true. All right. Like for example, the. The Maxine Waters is going to be able to, is going to help cure the virus, so they say, or the RFID chip is going to help build the economy again, or it's going to help, you know, it's going to help your whole life. Yeah, that that's a fool, okay? That's a fool that a fool believes in something that's, you know, it is 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 not. It, they believe in something that's not real, okay? They believe in the uh, the the they believe in uh, false you know uh, false tactics. They don't believe in what's true, all right. So they fall for what they fall for the the the, the, the they fall for the trap, all right. They fall for the bo bo booby trap. Cause to uh, it says deceive cause to believe something that is not true, all right. And then you know uh, uh, nation of uh, the wicked uh, the wicked of Israel believes in all of Esau's wickedness and he's just only making more much more of a fool than he is because Esau is the real fool right he doesn't know that he's being tricked by the heavenly father and his only begotten son all right it says see then that ye walk circumspectly and circumspect it goes into uh, you know being aware being alert all right being awake circumspect Circumspect meaning wary, unwilling to take risk. So we ain't willing to take any risk with this devil. He got put on the table, man. And none of his Maxine waters, none of his uh, RFID chips, and none of his uh, not uh, not conforming to his world, man. You know, we're not giving in to uh, what what this devil wants to offer. You know, just like just like in the days of Egypt. You know the, the 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 light of Israel, you know, wouldn't conform to Egypt, but the darkness of Israel wanted to, and we are we are you know revisiting those times once more again. All right, just like Noah, you know, the fools what the fools were doing, they were out, you know, they didn't believe in what Noah uh, said when um Yahweh Shai told him to make the ark. You know, they didn't have the faith, so fool also going to faithless. All right.
right? It says um, redeeming the time, you know, buying the time, all right? Redeeming the time because the days are evil, meaning uh, it's crunch time, all right? So redeeming the time, because um, redeem means to buy back, all right? So basically, it's, it's crunch time to get your shit together, you know? Redeem, let's go to redeem meaning. Redeem is just compensate for the fault of bad aspects of something. It says gain or regain possession of something in exchange for payment. All right. Retrieve, regain, recover. You know, we have to spiritually recover from our dead state. We're, we're, we're in some evil times. Uh, repossesses. We take possession of when a buyer defaults on payments. All right. So redeeming the time because the days are evil. You look up evil. Evil means profoundly immoral and wicked. All right. Wicked, bad, wrong. All right. A force, you know, embodying or associated with the forces of the devil. You know, majority of these people, billions of people are possessed with devils, man. There's billions of demons. At this given time, literally billions of demons, harmful or tended to harm, harmful, hurtful, injurious, unpleasant, disagreeable, and nasty. And we're living in some nasty times. A bunch of homosexuals out here, you know, transgenderism, you know, competing in uh, women's sports and, and uh, dominating it. Basically, a man entering a woman's sport, men entering women's bathroom. It's sick out here, man. You know, we in some evil times. Manifestation or profound more immor morality and wickedness, especially in per, per people's action. Esau's action. Esau and the other nation. They're they're wicked. You know, they're evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise. Let's look up unwise. of unwise unwise it says not wise or sensible foolish all right so being be uh redeeming the time you know be ye not um it says um but it says therefore be ye not foolish all right like how israel is they're foolish they're not paying attention to prophecy you know they're all up in the folly all right um it says not wise, um, be not um, wise, sensible, unwise. All right, imprudent, foolish, silly, ill considered, ill judged. You know, they're not judging the time, they're not judging the signs in the time. All right, they don't see what's going on. All right, just like, uh, you know, just like the days of Egypt once more, man. All right, it says, Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding. All right, let me get in the word understanding. Get the word understand. Understanding meaning the ability to understand something, comprehension. So, understanding is the ability to understand something, understand what the scriptures, the truth. All right, what the Lord is saying. Comprehension, the the action of of capability of understanding. The scriptures grasp understanding going to grasp the scriptures uh, uh, light grip you know a firm grip onto faith mastery understanding going to mass comprehensive of comprehensive knowledge or skill in a subject which we have the elect have the uh, concentrate comprehensive knowledge of this of, of who the heavenly father is and and the um the only begotten son is, and we understand our forefathers, all right? You know, they played uh, uh, different roles as prophets for Yahweh Bashim Yashai, and we are to walk in that same steadfast as our forefathers did, you know, constantly uh, enduring and suffering for the, our Lord's, our, our, you know, for the sake, for the name of the Lord, man, you know, for the sake of the Lord, you know? Perception, understanding going to perception, the ability to see, you know, to see what prophecy, to, to hear, to understand prophecy, 
become aware of something through the senses of what this devil is getting plan uh, getting ready to do, or the enemy of Yahweh by Shemesh out what they're about to do, just, uh, to match it up with the accounts of, you know, of uh, historical uh, accounts of, of historical uh, accounts of what the Lord did to nations that uh, that, that hated Israel. Okay. So, yeah, man. So understanding, but understanding what the will of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahshai is. All right. And we look up will. But you got different wills. You got a, a will when somebody dies. For instance, your father, you know, a father, your father dies and he give he give his basically his will is to go on to his son to have the 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 uh his inheritance. And that's what Yahweh Ba Hashim Yahweh is doing for us. The Lord is getting out giving his will to us. But express uh will is expressing the future tense, meaning expressing what the prophecies. Alright. Expressing inevitable events okay so will goes into do perform an action the precise nature of which is often unspecified all right so um the 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 the, the nuclear missiles hitting uh america america being babylon the great and the mark of the beast being the rfid chip these are all wills all right, this is the will of the Lord. This is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. All right, us being saved up on chariots. That's the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai because it's unspecified. Nobody haven't seen a, 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 a kind of salvation like this. Nobody haven't seen the uh, the angels up front. You know, nobody have seen the the chariots before. You know, nobody haven't seen Yahweh Shai. Okay, this is the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. Right. Let's go to Psalms 107, verse 42. The righteous shall see it and rejoice, and all iniquity shall stop her mouth. All right. So the righteous is gonna see the judgment of of, of this devil, man. You know, and, and the judgment of two thirds of, of of Israel. Okay. It says. Whoso is wise and will observe these things, and under, even they understand the loving. So here it goes. So whoso is wise and will, you know, future tense, okay, and observe these things, because we have to, we have to spiritually see it and imagine it. On what, imagine what the Lord is uh, uh, speaking to one, speaking unto us, okay, observe. So let's go, let's look into the word observe. Observe, notice or perceive and register it as being significant. So we are registering prophecy in our minds. All right, observing, observing the commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yashai. You know, and the precepts is also go into command. And all, all precepts is a command of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, so it says, Whoso is wise, okay, having that good judgment, will observe these things, even they shall understand, okay, perceive, all right, understand the loving kindness of Yahweh by Shema Shai. And, that, and the elect are going to uh, understand the loving kindness of Yahweh by Shema Shai. All right. This is not, you know, this is not for the faint heart. This is not, not for the, uh, the stumble block of minded people, man. All right. You know, the scriptures did say, um, let me see if I can grab it. Um, Sirach 39 
Let's start at verse 22. His blessing covered the dry land as a river and water it as a flood. All right. And we represent that blessing of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. We was once dry, the dry bones. All right. And then what he did, he watered us with this truth, the, the, the breath of the, uh, of the, the, the law of statute commandments once more. All right. So we are coming from that dead state. As he have turned the waters into saltness, so shall the heathen inherit his wrath. Okay. So if you if you think about it, we, we was we was once salt. We didn't have that. We didn't have that. Um. Um. We didn't we didn't have that that uh, truth. All right. We didn't have the truth. So we was like in the world. You know, come we when it, when it, um when you taking salt, it, it dries up the water. All right. But now. Okay, now Yahweh Shemiah Shai put the water in the salt, and, and it actually uh, diluted the water a little bit. I mean, the water kind of diluted the salt. All right, so it says verse verse twenty. Um, so it says, "So shall the heathen inherit his wrath." Who's the Who's the top heathen? Esau. Esau is going to inherit the wrath of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. All right, he was created to be destroyed. All right, you know. But verse 24 says, as his ways are plain unto the holy, all right, as his will, okay, let's, go, let's look up the word plain, okay, let's look up the word plain, let me see, plain meaning, plain, not decorated or elaborate, simple or ordinary in character, all right, so it's not, uh, uh, it says, um, simple, ordinary, ordinary, uninteresting, all right, easily understood or done, presenting no difficulty, unadorned, not adorned, plain, okay, having no pretensions, not remarkable or special, all right, straightforward, all right, so it's straightforward to the, uh, the holy, Okay, it's straightforward to the holy. It says, As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked or the wicked of of our people and the wicked of, of um, Esau Edom, the so called white man. All right, so for the good are good things created from the beginning, which Yahweh Bashim Shai created who the elect. All right, Yahweh created Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai created the elect. And, and that's the that was good from the beginning, but this devil in power, you know, he turned everything upside down. He said man could be with man, woman could be with woman, you know. You, he said you could uh, form, you could put uh, animal and a human together, and you have an evolutionary garbage, all right. Pushing this Darwinism, saying that it was a big bang, and you know, it, this is all confusion, all right. This is all, all all madness, all right. This is all upside down. This is not good. Okay, you're taking away seeds out of a plant, you know. Hey, man, you know the, the, the seeds is what is what made the earth, man. All right, every fruit had every fruit had a every fruit has a male, you know. Every every animal has to have a male, okay. So this devil have confused life on earth, man. Okay, he's trying to make everything female. All right. So, so this is a action. This is truly a queendom that we're dwelling in. So, for the good are good things created from the beginning. So, evil things for sinners. All right, and who's, who's who? Only, who only can sin? The nation of Israel. But the wicked uh, uh, push forth the sins, sinning, push forth sinning on our people's faces, so they could keep on going off and, uh, and make the heavenly Father more angry. That's why the scriptures say, um, let me see, um, I think it's, um, Psalms 9, and 6, let me see. Well, yeah, let's, let, let's read Psalms 9 and 5. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, disapprove, thou hast destroyed the wicked, Thou has put out their name forever and ever. That's how angry the Lord is with Yahweh, uh, uh, um, with, with um, Esau, man. All right, and the other nations following Esau. 
all right, as they had our hand in our captivity and misery, all right? O oh, thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. So the Lord's getting ready to uh, cut off this devil forever, man. Put them in captivity. All right, he's going to destroy them on this side with the nuclear missiles, and he's going to put them in captivity. And then we're going to have we're going to have spiritual power, and on top of that, we're going to cut them off, man. On the behalf of the Abashman Shine, their name should never be mentioned ever. All right. And when our kingdom is established, they're going to be considered the wicked. That's the name. They're going to be wicked. The wicked. All right. But Yahweh Bashim Shasha endure forever. He had prepared his throne for judgment and judgment on you heathens, man. You know? So, verse 8 And he shall judge the world in righteousness. And what and what's the world is dwelling What kind of world we're dwelling in now? Wickedness. So, he's going to judge this world in righteousness. And this is, is this is a, a, a righteous judgment, um, righteous judgment along with righteous righteous justice. So the elect the elect is gonna be justified, you know, for this devil to go down, man. You know, we're gonna be justified for our salvation. All right, to prove, uh, basically we're proving to Yahweh Shemesh that we're the virgin that we've been waiting for Yahweh Shai to come pick us up, man. Righteousness, he shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness, and that's the elect. But when we uh, get changed into our new bodies, we're going to be, be judges, right? So vengeance belongs to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So let me see. Um, yep, Psalm 7:11. Yahweh Shem Yashai, the righteous, judges the righteous, and Yahweh Shem Yashai is angry with the wicked every day. So every day, the, these devils are only making the Lord more angry. And that's why you see some grievous judgments going out right now, you know? And, you know, Lord willing, we have that number to be uh, safe from this place. That's why, you know, uh, King David said, um, um, let's let's get it. Let's get it. Um, Psalm 17 and uh, 13, I think. Um, Psalm 17 and 13 says... Arise, O Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, disappoint him. Who's him? Esau, Edom. Cast him down. Cast him out of the throne, man. You know, cast these so-called white people out of rulership, you know. Deliver my soul from the wicked. Who's the wicked? Who's blessed? Who did Isaac, Isaac uh, uh, Abraham's son, bless with, with uh, 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 a certain blessing of the sword? That was Esau, all right? So he, he, he uh, if you read Malachi 1 and 4, he's the wicked. He's the border of wickedness, okay? It says, deliver my soul from the wicked, from the wicked, which is, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, all right? And Esau was blessed with the sword by Isaac, okay? Now, um. All right, so Esau Edom was blessed with the sword. All right, so um, let me see. So here's the, here's the true will of Yahweh Shem Yashai. It's in Ezekiel five, and um, we're gonna end it. May end it here. Five, chapter five, verse sixteen. So Ezekiel chapter five, the prophet Ezekiel chapter five, verse sixteen. When I shall send upon them evil arrows of famine, which shall f be for their destruction. All right, because the Lord is the Lord is gonna strike the crops, and the crops is gonna dry up, and it's not gonna produce fruit anymore. It says which, and it's going to cause a great famine, all right? You know, the water is not going to be as much water, which shall be for their destruction, all right, the heathens, and I, which I will send to destroy you, all right? And I will increase the famine upon you and will break your staff of bread, 
okay so I will verse 17 so will I all right so this is the future which is what the Lord is going to do send upon you famine and evil beast and they shall bereave thee pestilence and blood shall pass through thee and I will bring the sword upon thee I Yahweh Bashim Asha have spoken so the Lord is going to bring judgment to a uh, uh, the modern day Egypt, which is uh, ba uh, America, Babylon the Great. All right, so he's going to bring all these plagues and judgments to this place, man. All right, and more the wickedness is, is increasing, and, and um, the Lord is getting more and more pissed off. Um, Ezekiel 21, book of Ezekiel, chapter 21, verse 31 is this precept, and I will pour my, my indignation upon thee, and I will blow against thee in the fire of my wrath. And deliver thee into the hand of brutish men and skillful to destroy all right so you're going to destroy these these people with uh, nuclear missiles man all right and thou shalt be for fuel all right to the fire thy blood shall be in the mist of the land thou shalt be no more remember for i how about shimmy i have spoken so the lord has spoken this and, and once once the lord uh say uh something it don't come back to him, boy. So it's, it's, it's faithful and true, okay. Um, let me see if I can get one last one. Let me see. Uh, maybe I can get something out of Isaiah forty-three. 